UNF Osprey fans, we are here post game with head coach Mary Tapmeyer and sophomore guard Destiny Smith and junior forward Chandler Murkerson. Coach Tapp, huge win today over Jacksonville, 66-63. What were your thoughts from today's game? I thought um, first half we really executed the game plan really well. Um, we knew they would be aggressive coming at us in the second half, and they really were. I think we were a little sluggish defensively, but. You know, to their credit, they're very good penetrators, and we didn't do a very good job of rotating on help and, and stepping over. So we gave them some easier opportunities. But I thought we held our composure pretty well down the stretch when it was getting a little bit shaky. Chan had a, a breakout for three three plays in a row where she was spectacular for us. Um, she's a scorer. She just doesn't think she's a scorer, but she stepped up and hit some big shots for us. And then Destiny hit six points in a row that really kind of sparked us. But, you know, JU's never going to go away. Those barrel points are valuable, and they're going to battle. Um, to their credit, I thought our scout, we did some really good things down the stretch. We knew what they were going to go to. Fab got a big steal for us down the stretch. Um, but, you know, anytime you play JU, it's going to be a battle. Now, Coach, you guys had a huge first half, 41 <laughs> points. That's by far the most first half points you guys have had this season. How has that just seen your team come to life in that first 20 minutes? Well, we've had the capability and with the offense that we're running, the kids are getting more and more comfortable. It's just one of those things where they're starting to see some of the some of the reads that are available. And we've talked to a couple of kids about being more aggressive, looking for their shot. Destiny's one of them. You know, Jake's going to be wide open. When you can stretch the defense like we can stretch the defense with the three ball, it gives Rob more opportunities inside. It's really a it can be a juggernaut to try and figure out how to guard us. Now, Chandler, like Coach said, you had quite a few big plays during the second half, especially midway through. Just talk us through getting those baskets, getting that huge block. Just talk us through that and what it meant for you guys just for that half and getting your team sparked, like jumped up, hyped up, I guess. Um, it meant a lot. We were a little sluggish on defense, like Coach said. So I think the block kind of gave everybody a little bit of life. And then on offense, I just, my teammates got me a ball, so I just did what I knew I could do. Now, you get definitely very animated when you have those big plays. <laughs> How do you think that just livens up your team and your teammates? Um, I think they just feed off my energy and we just all get hyped for each other all the time. So I think the big play is I bring the energy and then they bring it, give me energy. Now, Des, you've had several big offensive games coming down the stretch. Today was another one of them. I mean, how is it just getting back into the flow, getting the ball, shooting it? Um, well, I had my coach Coach Miller, she talked to me before at the beginning of the game, and she said, just go out and attack early and be aggressive. So I tried to keep that mindset for the whole game. So that's basically what I did. Now, with you two, Des and Chan, you guys have yet to lose to JU in the regular season. What does that just mean? I need to knock on some wood. I'm sorry. <laughs> Coach, we'll, <laughs> Coach, we will find you some wood to knock on. Keep up that good Thank luck. Thank you very much. What does it just mean with this rivalry and knowing how important it is and to get the get a barrel point today for the school? I think it's very important. Um, we want to do something, you know, for our fans and getting a barrel point is something that, you know, our fans look forward to. So I think that bringing those points home mean a lot. Well, like they said, I think the, the barrel points bring a lot of, of fans. The fans appreciate it. The school appreciates it. And our athletic director certainly appreciates it. <laughs> and, um, I think it'll help bring us in more fans too, and I think it'll help us get more recognition and run Jacksonville. Now, let's talk about the last game between you guys and JU. It was a very close game right there, buzzer beater at the end that sealed a season sweep for you guys. And how is it just with this game? Was there any thoughts of deja vu, except it's happening to us on our court this time? Well, when we played at their place, we were down 12 at halftime. Um, it, I watched the game last night, it was or yesterday afternoon. It was probably one of the ugliest games we played all last year, but we persevered. We did a really good job of defending in the second half, held them to very few points, and then um, we ran. Kira was not very good offensively, but she was spectacular defensively, and then we ran an out-of-bounds play for her, and she made a, a layup at the buzzer, um, you know, because she's just, she just keeps playing. But J.U., We've never, you know, JU is, it's, the barrel points are too important. Both teams are going to come to play. There's never going to be a blowout game. Now, you guys hit the road next week. You guys ready for it? Oh, yes. Well, thank you guys very much, and we'll catch up with you guys 
next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.